The second security practice in governance in the SAM model is policy and compliance. With policy and compliance, the key recommendation here is to understand what all of your compliance drivers are. Understand your regulatory environment in any market that you're delivering. Understand what it would mean to comply with those requirements everywhere and make that your policy. So it is essential for this practice to treat all standards and obligations as application requirements. And on top of that, formalize that which are the last two bullet points on this slide. Often this process is informal. In startups, for instance, policies are typically just an oral tradition, even if they exist. You start with employee number one and grow, but to give yourself credit, you're gonna get out of the employee number one's head. You use at least a wiki, write them down, and every time you onboard someone new, you can ask them to have a look at that, at the very least. One of the typical questions at this point would be, what is a policy and what is a standard? Policy describes the overall objectives and especially why is the organization concerned about this? It might include governing documents and reference all of the sources for compliance requirements. Policies also reflect on roles and re responsibilities for complying with different parts of it. So to sum up, what are the overarching expectations and why do we have them? That is what policy is all about. Standards are a lot more functional. They define the concrete expectations or the what, but they should always reference back to the policy they are intended to satisfy. And then procedures are how we are going about achieving compliance. Then you have process, which in most cases is a relationship among several procedures for how we get something done across the organization. There are two streams as usual in this practice. The first one deals with policies and standards themselves. The second stream looks into the whole compliance management process.